welcome to Model Yoga. I'm Yogi Troy, and in this season of Model Yoga, we'll be focusing on the chakra system. The chakras are the energy centers in your body, and each of the seven chakras corresponds to different mental, energetic, and emotional qualities that are within you. There are seven episodes to correspond with each of the chakras. We'll be increasing your awareness of these energy centers while strengthening, toning, lengthening, and balancing your body and your mind. As a model, gaining awareness of your physical body, your energy, your emotions, and your thoughts will help you to feel more present, calm, balanced, and ready to achieve your maximum potential. Whether you're a beginner or advanced yogi, always remember to listen to your body, move at your own pace, and take the postures as far as is comfortable for you. I'm Yogi Troy, and this is Model Yoga. Today's focus is the fifth chakra, or the throat chakra, the Vishuddha chakra. The fifth chakra is your center for expressing yourself, finding your voice, and speaking your truth. When this energy center is balanced, you will be free, fully alive, and fully yourself. Your model yoga practice is coming along nicely, and you should be feeling changes in your physical, mental, and energetic bodies, and seeing your inner glow shining through. Let's get started in a comfortable seated position today with your eyes closed. Roll your shoulders back and sit up nice and tall. We're gonna get started with some gentle neck stretches today, with the focus being on the throat chakra. So let your right ear drift towards your right shoulder and just let your head be heavy. These stretches will help to elongate the muscles in your neck, release stress in your shoulders, and increase the range of motion in your head and neck so you can take your sexy gaze wherever the photographer wants you to take it. Let's switch sides, inhale the crown of the head back up to neutral, and then we'll exhale your head over to the left. Relax the right shoulder, release any tension in the right side of the neck. Open mouth exhales can always help you to find a little bit more surrender. And inhale the crown of the head back up towards neutral. Drift your chin in the direction of the sky. You can just let your jaw hang open like you don't care. And allow some open mouth exhales. If you have any neck issues, only drifting the head back as far as is comfortable for you. Otherwise, just letting the head remain at neutral. Last open mouth exhale. Take an inhale. And then as your exhale comes, just for one breath, exhale, drift your chin in the direction of the chest, just shutting down the throat chakra. Then inhale the crown of the head back up towards neutral. Long, tall spine, shoulders back. We'll get started by chanting the sound of Om this morning. The sound of Om is the sound of the universe. We're gonna try and connect with that. And while doing it, we'll also be freeing your voice. Sit up nice and tall. And we'll exhale everything out, then we'll take a deep inhale, and then we're going to chant the sound of Om. So allow your eyes to close if they haven't already. Exhale everything out. Take a nice deep inhale. your throat chakra in your mind and then when you're ready you can allow your eyes to open and just slowly making your transition to a neutral tabletop we're going to get started with another pranayama and this pranayama is called lion's breath. So we're gonna allow you to get a little bit silly. Yoga doesn't always have to be so serious. Lion's breath will allow you to let go of what other people think. It might make you laugh or smile, and that also helps you to relieve stress and negative energy. So we'll bring your gaze towards the front. We'll take a deep inhale, and the lion's breath sounds like this. So you're trying to open up your mouth nice and wide. And then the second part of lion's breath is sticking your tongue out. So take a deep inhale, and with your exhale, 
and the third part of lion's breath is drifting your gaze up to the sky. So the third part will take a deep inhale and we'll combine all the parts. Exhale, <sighs> lion's breath. We're gonna do that two more times. So get settled in, deep inhale, Great job. Let's press back to down dog on one, on one of your necks. Exhale, spread your fingers nice and wide. Lift your knees. Send your heels in the direction of the mat. Draw your gaze up in between your hands. Gradually start to walk your feet up in between your hands. Take an inhale to a flat back. With your exhale, fold forward. With your inhale, roll up or reverse swan dive all the way up to Tita Tadasana. With your exhale, allow your palms to drift down in the direction of your heart. Just allowing your eyes to close. Roll the shoulders back. Continue to take deep inhales and nice slow exhales. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Modeling is an art and creative ideas will always be flowing. Realizing the power of your ideas and your words and knowing how to communicate them is vital to being a model. Now this doesn't mean talking excessively, but it means having a clear, concise, and confident voice in expressing your ideas, feelings, and needs. From standing, connect with your breath, deep inhale through the nose, and. Open mouth, exhale. With your inhale, float your arms up and overhead to Tita Tadasana. And with your exhale, swan dive to forward fold, Uttanasana. With an inhale, float up to a halfway lift, nice long flat back. With your exhale, soften your knees, plant your hands, step back to high plank, knees up. And we'll set up for grasshopper pose. For grasshopper pose, lower your knees down to the mat, then lower your chest down to the mat, keeping your hips up in the air. So we're trying to open up the throat. Deep inhales. Open mouth exhales. Feel the length in the neck. Take one more inhale. And then with your exhale, we'll extend your legs long and lower all the way down to the mat. Set up for up dog. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders and press up to up dog. Press the mat away from you. Roll the shoulders back and down and away from your ears. You want your shoulders directly above your wrists. Your knees can be floating up off of the mat if you want to press into your feet and lift the knees. Try for that, otherwise knees down is okay too. If it's available to you, let your chin drift up in the direction of the sky, really opening up the throat chakra. Open mouth exhales. Last one, open mouth exhale. Take one full inhale and then gently and slowly transition into down dog. Send your hips high, spread the fingers nice and wide. When your next inhale comes, float your right heel high to three-legged down dog. And when your exhale comes, step it through. We'll float right up to crescent lunge. Find your balance. With your next inhale, soften your back knee and we'll use the back knee to spring forward and float your arms down towards your hips. Stand up nice and tall, left knee nice and high. We're gonna have a little fun here as well with the breath and with your voice. Inhale and float the foot back and the arms back. And this time when you exhale, we're gonna come up and kick and ha. Deep inhale and ha. ha. Inhale and step back. Ha! Fix your gaze. Ha! Two more. Ha! Last one. Ha! Inhale and step back. 
With your exhale, plant your hands down into down dog hands. Inhale to a three-legged down dog. Float your right heel nice and high. And then exhale, come back down to four-legged down dog. We'll go over and get this next side right away. Inhale your left heel high. With your exhale, step it through. Inhale up to crescent lunge. Just for a practice run, soften your back knee. Inhale and soften. Exhale and step the right knee up. Find your balance, great job. Focus your eyes on one fixed point. With your inhale, step back. Exhale and make it count. Step forward. Ha! Ha! Inhale, step back. Exhale. Ha! ha! Exhale. Ha! 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 Last two. Ha! Last one, make it count. Inhale, step back, float your arms up. Exhale, plant your hands down towards the mat. Great job. Inhale, your left heel high to a three-legged down dog. Exhale, lower down to a four-legged down dog. Take one inhale through your nose. Find a cooling open mouth exhale. Feel free to hold down dog or lower down into child's pose. And we'll be right back. Welcome back. Much like being a model, yoga requires balance not only physically, but energetically. It is important to know when you have the energy to shine and when you need to go inside and be with yourself. Being on your yoga mat is a great place to learn this balance so you can apply it to your real life. From down dog, exhale everything out. With your inhale, float your right heel high. And with your exhale, step your right foot up in between your hands. Take a moment just to settle into your feet. With your next inhale, float the arms up and the torso up to crescent lunge, trying to maintain the right knee above the right ankle. Long spine, deep inhale. With your next exhale, we'll drop into warrior two over to this side. For warrior two, lining all of the feet knee over the right knee over the right ankle we'll set up for trikonasana or triangle pose so for triangle pose from warrior two inhale and straighten your right leg then exhale and try and reach and touch the front of the room and then just subtly hinge at the right hip and let your top hand drift up to the sky maintain all of your joints in one line it's like you're trying to press your shoulders up against the imaginary wall behind you. For the throat chakra, try and let your gaze drift up to the sky. Open up your throat. Try and find a little bit more length. Exhale. And with your inhale, we'll flow right into warrior two. Exhale, relax your shoulders. With your next inhale, find reverse triangle. Straighten the right leg, but this time reach all the way back towards the top back corner of the room. And from here, you're trying to lengthen from your right big toe to the right hip, all the way up to the right shoulder, and up and out of your right middle finger. With your next exhale, drop right back into warrior two. Pause there for an inhale. And then bring your right elbow down to your right knee for side angle. There's many different options for the hand. Today I'm going to ask you to bring the left hand up and overhead. Really try and lengthen a nice strong straight line. Lengthen from the back heel all the way up and out of the fingertips. Freeze your legs and freeze your torso right where they are. With your inhale, just your left hand floats up to the sky. And then exhale, come down to a low lunge. Pivot onto the ball of your back foot, pause there, lower your left knee, and then come into a modified crescent lunge. Float your torso up. Bring your palms in towards your heart center. We'll set up for a standing spinal twist. You'll twist towards your right, bring your left elbow to the outside of your right knee. Let your gaze drift around as far as is comfortable for you towards the back. 
If you want to challenge yourself and add balance, curl your back toes under and lift your back knee. Still continuing to twist. Still breathing, try and take one more deep, deep inhale. Find your full expression. Great job. And with your exhale, lower down to a low lunge. Three-legged down dogs will be the transition. Inhale your right heel high. With your exhale, find a four-legged down dog. We'll do the same postures on the opposite side. Inhale your left heel high. Exhale and step your left foot up in between your hands. We start with crescent lunge. Take a moment and get your feet underneath you. This is a different side. Always remember that the left side and the right side will be different. So proceed at the same pace as you did on the first side. One full inhale. We'll exhale and drop into warrior two. Once you have your alignment, straighten the left leg. Inhale. Exhale, reach and try and touch the front of the room. Pause there for an inhale, maybe flip your left hand up, and then exhale and hinge and come into your full expression. Taking the gaze where it's comfortable for you. Feeling the length from the back heel to the back hip, to the top shoulder, maybe out of the crown of the head. Really strong core. Last exhale. Inhale, try and transition right into warrior two. Bend your left knee, float the arms to the horizon. Pause there for one inhale. And with your exhale, side angle. Bring your left elbow down to your left knee. And then take the right hand all the way up and overhead. Reaching. Sink down a little bit deeper than you think you can. And then hold there. Find your inner strength. Freeze your legs, freeze your torso, just your right hand floats up to the sky. With your inhale, with your exhale, bring both hands down to the mat. Find a low lunge. Lower your right knee down to the floor. Float up to a modified crescent lunge. Bring your palms into your heart center, and then we'll find the twist towards your left. You can add the balance if you added the balance on the opposite side by curling your toes under and lifting the back knee. Strong, strong legs, long spine, lengthening all the way out of the crown of the head. Let your gaze drift as far as you like behind you. Take one more inhale. And then it'll be a real slow release down to a low lunge. Float to a three-legged down dog. Exhale, four-legged down dog. Take one inhale there. And exhale and release down into child's pose. Knees lower to the mat. Send your hips back in the direction of your heels. Hold in child's pose. Continue to take deep inhales and nice slow exhales. This is your time to go inside. We're gonna be right back with your cool down. Moving into our cool down, we have a few more postures to open you up a little bit more, and then we will give you a nice long relaxation so you can go inside and receive all the openings from your practice today. It's important to know when you have been exuding too much energy and need to slow down and take a break. From child's pose, inhale up to a neutral tabletop. We're gonna move into camel pose. So with camel pose, you'll make your way just to your knees and float your torso up. Try to bring your knees to about hip width apart, feet are about hip width apart. Float your arms up and overhead, and then we're gonna bring your hands down to your lower back. Palms face down, fingers pointing down. And here we're opening up the chest just slightly. Allow your gaze to drift up in the direction of the sky. 
Try and maintain your hips pressed up and against an imaginary wall in front of you. If you're feeling stable there, see if you can reach back and touch your heels, maybe your ankles. This depends on how long your thighs are, how long your torso is, how much flexibility you have, and also how long your arms are. If that's not feeling possible, you can just stay with the hands at the hips. If you're able to find the heels or the ankles, let the head drift back, let the gaze drift towards the back of the room. Really open up your throat. Take one more inhale, and then a nice open, open mouth exhale. Be real careful as you start your release. We're gonna end up in child's pose just to give your spine a little breather, allow you to go back inside for a moment. And with your next inhale, float up to a neutral tabletop. We'll make your way down to your back. So slide your feet all the way up towards the front of the mat. You're gonna need your block for this. So we're gonna set up for supported fish pose or Salamba Matsyasana. And you want to try and get the block aligned directly with your spine and up in between your shoulder blades. So take some time and set up the alignment of the block, making sure it's perfectly aligned. And it might take you a few times to get the block exactly where you need it. We're trying to keep the head elevated off of the floor here if you have a block that's high enough. So we really wanna try and open up the throat as much as we can. If it's not comfortable for your neck, you can also position the block so that the back of your neck lands right on the back top corner of the block. This is a posture where you'd wanna hold it as long as it's comfortable for you. Just allow the breath to rise and fall. Allow the chest to be open. It's another posture that's great for opening up the heart chakra. We'll take about three more breaths. pose gradually start to bring your chin in the direction of your chest press your elbows down slide the block out and just make your way onto your back we have one more twist we'll close class with today with an inhale bring your knee in towards your chest bring your right knee in towards your chest you and interlace your fingers up around the right shin give a gentle pull with an exhale now we'll take your right knee across your midline over towards the left, extending your right arm out to the side. We're trying to maintain the right shoulder down on the mat. So your right knee may or may not touch. If you can, try and maintain the right shoulder down. Let your gaze drift over towards the right hand. Send open mouth exhales out towards your right hand. Last exhale. We'll bring your right knee back across. You can give it a nice little squeeze in towards your chest. We'll set up to switch sides. Extend your right leg long. Bring your left knee in towards your chest. Give it one good little pull and then take it across your midline. Left hand extending long. Open mouth exhales. Bring the left knee in. Give it a gentle little squeeze. 
Extend your legs nice and long. Take some deep inhales and nice soft exhales. Try and wiggle your feet a little bit further away from your hips. Palms can be face up. Settling into relaxation pose or final Shavasana. Relaxation pose is just as important as all the other poses that we did today. It allows your muscles and the rest of your physical body to have the time for all of your hard work to settle in and create permanent change. Allow your hips to melt down into the mat. Allow your shoulders to become heavier and heavier. Just relax your jaw. Relax the eyes, allow the eyes to sink down towards your mat. Just really let go. I'm gonna be leaving you in final Shavasana today or relaxation pose. Please try and stay as long as you can. Try for at least three minutes. Until next time, I'm Yogi Troy, and this is Model Yoga. Namaste. Thank you.